Hi there everyone, welcome back to On The Flip Side. My name is Adam Shawwalker, your host, and today we're going to be checking out this new album from British post-punk, uh, math rock, avant-garde, uh, experimental rock artists Black Midi on this new album, Hellfire. This is the third album from Black Midi and the follow-up to 2021's Cavalcade, an album that recently I have seen at the middle of numerous debates on various music forums and one that I feel personally uh, kind of toes the line between brilliant and pretentious very very delicately. And I feel that boundary is pushed uh, even further here with what seems like the logical extent of this sound uh, that they've been toying with, even to the point that they uh, they hit on some more traditional jazz notes in the middle of some material that, to be fair, is kind of limited in its accessibility. I personally have had a, a bit of a difficult time with progressive music and math rock styles over the years. I find a lot of it uh, almost so methodical as to become a bit maddening. However, Hellfire has found a way to kind of subvert that trend for me. There are um, moments on this album that I could easily pan, but the stuff here that lands for me lands really hard. I absolutely love the jazz samba elements that are touched on on Dangerous Liaisons. To me, that track is probably the most consistent in its quality. I do also really love the almost yes-like riffing and jam on Sugar Tzu. I, you know, it reminds me a lot of, like, the bridge and verse on Heart of the Sunrise. I do also like the slow swing tune styles on uh, the defense that give me some, like, very serious fear and loathing vibes, like, kind of like a Kamazi Washington track bathed in a gallon of LSD laid to uh, dry on a tropical beach. To me, that's mostly where the highlights end and where the head-scratching bits begin, because a lot of the material here is dense, and I mean really, really really dense and it's not super hard to grasp but it is kind of hard to find the appeal from time to time as like I said earlier uh, this album further pushes that ledge, towing the line even further between brilliant performances and songwriting and a complete uh, self-indulgence, almost to a fault. Which, when it comes down to it, I do have a lot of respect for these guys are musicians, and what they've done is not only make an album for musicians, they've made an album for musicians that think like they do, which I don't necessarily think are few and far between, but I do believe is kind of a specific person. Like this album is kind of like the music a overly serious band kid in high school would listen to and either grow out of or work his way into becoming like a prodigy. And like I said, there is really brilliant stuff here, but it seems like it's kind of intentionally been engineered to not only be hard to access, but to be kind of noise-like. And for me, it's kind of weird to feel this way about this album because I like a fair amount of like noise tracks and ambient soundscape records. I'll marathon like the Boris and Merz collaboration albums no problem but this uh, kind of abrasiveness is at a point where it's like too much to be appealing to me personally but not enough to reach that point of noise where I find it oddly listenable I'm sure a, a lot of people are going to not really get what I'm talking about or just disagree with me entirely but what I would like to say is uh, I genuinely like the musicianship here I just don't really care for a lot of what's been created in this instance. It, it really hits um, kind of a similar wave to like Trap Mask Replica or some of the Zappa material in that I respect the output. I just wouldn't really uh, put this on unless it was an instance like this where I'm reviewing this. I think as for any moments on the album I actually outwardly disliked or had a uh, negative reaction to as a default, I, I really wasn't into the races about to begin. I think this is really the moment on the album where the uh, frustrating push into um, pretentious and self-indulgent writing surfaces the most. The drums are fantastic, the guitar work is insane. I I love the sax work and the vocals, I love the ending part of the track that's a lot more moody, but god I hate this song, it is just an exhausting piece of media and by all accounts it has every element of a track that I should like on paper, but it just ends up being too much. It also doesn't really help that the interlude track Halftime hams up how interesting and uh, unique the next song is only to enter that song, and it really does deliver on not sounding like anything else, at least directly. I, I do think I'm probably gonna revisit this album down the road and just kind of see what I think later because as it sits, there are some songs here that are exceptionally charming and are really a wonder to 
listen to, but there is a point where my enjoyment as it sits uh, just kind of stops. So for me personally, for the time being, I think this album is probably a six. Uh, rest assured, I may come back to this later, so don't go blasting me just yet. Anyway, please let me know what you guys think of this one. I would really love some more perspectives on this album. I would like to like it more, but I think for me, my enjoyment and like my taste might just be limiting it. I, I think that there's some great stuff here. I just... Uh, I'm having a hard time with this one, so please let me know what you guys think. If you guys liked this video, remember to subscribe and like the video. And if you want to help out the channel further, check out my Reverb, my Instagram, and my Depop. Links to those are in the description below. Thank you all so much again, and we'll see you on the flip side.